Aida for checking my husband's dashcam footage on his car without his consent. I, 34F, live with my husband, 37M, and daughter, 7F. My daughter and I recently went on a short trip out of state while my husband stayed as he had work and was supposed to look after our dog. On the last day of our trip we got a call from my husband who was acting distraught and said that our dog Ellie had run away and that he could not find her. He claimed she just bolted away from him in the park, into some bushes and he could not find her. Our dog is quite small, a mini poodle mix and almost 13 years old. She is still active but it is really unlike her to run away from us and I was suspicious but chose to believe my husband and me and my daughter were in grief but did not want to blame him. When we came back home, he seemed surprisingly okay unlike us. Ever since the pandemic, my husband started working from home and he has always been annoyed at how much attention we gave Ellie and hated how Ellie begged to sit on our laps and his while he worked. A few days later we got a call from an animal rescue in a neighboring state quite far from us that she had been found. I picked the phone and it was on our landline which we almost never use these days but was the contact on the microchip. I told my husband and he just said that is great. I am so happy but it felt kind of blunt and insincere. I said it is strange that she got so far and he responded that someone must have stolen her and then abandoned her. This made little sense to me as to why that would happen. When he was out drinking with his buddies, I copied the videos from his dashcam for the days I was away and saw that he had indeed taken Ellie far out of state, and clearly dropped her in front of his car thrown a frisbee-like object into a field, yelled fetch and drove off without her. I was livid and confronted him and he just stupidly muttered how he dropped her there so she could find a farm and have a better life and then the next day got really angry at me for viewing his dashcam and called me and my daughter Oz. Uh. NTA. Keep your dog and daughter and leave the husband in another state to find another family he'd have a better life with. Edit. Holy farm cow, dog husband. Didn't expect top comment thanks for all the awards. Wow. NTA. You had a gut feeling and were absolutely right. This is horrible. What your husband did is sick and cruel. He left an innocent animal to die. Obviously what you do now is up to you. But if it were me, I would never be able to trust him again. The entire relationship would be ruined. He needs to seek therapy if he is so insecure that he is jealous of a dog. Pathetic excuse for a man. Oh, I will never trust him again and I am going to be seeing a lawyer soon. I might have a lot to lose as I earn significantly more than him. Your dashcam footage will go a long way in court. Don't discount his behavior as evidence that he does not deserve help. NTA I personally would straight up divorce him. My dogs are my family. Then he turns around and gets mad and calls you names. That's the same tactic that cheaters use when their significant other finds something. Trying the old uno reverso on you. Already planning that. NTA. Run. Really, op. I don't know what else to say. He drove out of state to dump your senior dog. Next time, he's going to hit her with his car. He called you and your seven-year-old daughter assholes. If your dog is still in the home with you, move her to a friend or family's. Like, tonight. My dog is currently at my parents' place and he is livid about it and how he deserves trust yet still insists he did that for her own good. That'll make a great story to tell the other divorced men at the studio apartment pool. Edit my first awards. Partying face thanks y'all. In ta it's animal cruelty and if he called your 7y, oh and ah you need to start filing for divorce. NTA. Keep a copy of the footage as evidence. He called a 7 year old an ah? What's she got to do with any of this? Is she his kid? Cuz if not. You should probably rethink your relationship. I call my kids Oz. But not in the sense that they actually are. They just do aw things sometimes. Cause they're feral. Also, he's jealous of a 13-year-old dog. Face with rolling eyes this guy super sucks. NTA. What's she got to do with any of this? He is always annoyed at how much time she spends with Ellie and has in the past accused her of like the dog more than her dad and sexist things about how daughters are not close to dads and see them as providers. Iron way more than he does and always have. Woo he really is an asshole what the fuck. Leave his ass immediately. He abandons a 13 year old dog in a field to fend for itself. Unforgivable. NTA. He abandoned a family member. 
My dad did this shit to us as a kid with one of our dogs he didn't like and I still haven't forgiven him. I hope he realizes how fucked up this was. BTW my dad was also seeing prostitutes behind my mother's back at the same time but we didn't find out for 10-ish years. All I'll say is that someone with thar little empathy and willingness to lie might be doing more behind your back than you realize. NTA. If this story is even true, then it's perfectly obvious who the asshole is. And who records themselves doing something like that? He's either an idiot, or he wanted to be caught. I would say idiot, it would not be the first time he has done idiotic things and he is so brazenly confident he forgets to even hide it. Makes me wonder what stuff he has done we do not know about. Glad to see in the comments you're getting a lawyer. Make sure you have copies of that video saved in multiple places. What an awful thing to do to a dog. And you. And your daughter. NTA. Obviously. Just FYI. Pets that are dumped don't find a nice little ranch to go live on. They get hit by cars. They get attacked by other animals. They starve to death because they don't know how to find food. They get shot by farmers who don't want stray dogs on their property. Your husband had a very good chance of killing that dog and I am so glad everything turned out okay because it usually doesn't. Thank you for being smart and getting rid of him. Obviously NTA. NTA. Your husband did something immensely cruel and it sounds like he planned it poorly. And now he's deflecting by calling you and your daughter. Seriously, your daughter. Oz. My ex-brother-in-law did that to my dog over 40 years ago. I haven't forgiven him yet. NTA. This is a deal breaker for me. I would never look at him the same way again. Nor would I trust him. NTA. This is divorce territory.